I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. A city of Newburgh man is facing a second-degree murder charge in connection with the death of his live-in girlfriend. The arrest of 30-year-old Yannick Avina Z came after police discovered the body of 20-year-old Alexis Harris inside uh, their apartment at uh, number 68 West Street Saturday evening. Officers had come to the residence to conduct a welfare check. Police did not initially reveal a cause of death in the domestic homicide, but did indicate there were signs of a physical altercation inside the apartment. Keep checking back here at Record Online for the very latest on this developing story. It was a local incident that is part of a nationwide problem. Hamlet of Wallkill resident John Marullo's mailbox was the recent target of a pressure bomb, a homemade chemical explosive that uh, have become all too common for police departments across the country. They are made by combining volatile household chemicals inside a capped bottle, which then expands and explodes. Police believe the incidents, like the one experienced by Marullo, are the work of teenage pranksters. If this didn't detonate immediately, and if someone were to, let's say, open the mailbox and they happen to pick it up, um, it could go off in their hand, take their hand off. It could uh, go off in their face, take their eyes out, take their face off. This is serious. This is a federal offense. It's a bomb in my mailbox. Town of Shungum police are having the contents of his mailbox explosive analyzed as part of their search for the culprit. State police say he was illegally double dipping, collecting more than $15,000 in unemployment insurance money while working for the town of Fallsburg. Police have charged 57-year-old Leslie Willenkin of Allenville with the felonies of grand larceny and falsifying business records. Investigators say Willenkin filed the false claims for seven months in 2010 and for seven months in 2011. It's for sure you noticed that the uptick in prices at the pump, average retail gas prices in the state, rose more than seven cents a gallon in the past week to an average of $3.74. Prices are more than 12 cents a gallon higher than they were a month ago, but almost 19 cents a gallon lower than they were this time last year. Energy analysts say uh, don't expect pump prices to fall again until mid to late September. Special vehicle pulled into the parking lot of the South Orange Family YMCA in Monroe earlier today, and people were climbing aboard to improve their eyesight. VSP Vision Care and Transitions Optical teamed up with CNS uh, Wholesale Grocers uh, to bring a 40-foot long mobile eye clinic to the community. Inside the vehicle, those uh, referred to the program got a free eye exam and frames for their new glasses with lenses made on site in 15 minutes. The patient has just selected a pair of frames and what this machine does here is it traces it. Okay, You can see here that it, it locates the frame, it traces it. Once it traces it here, we load the prescription to these machines over here and this is the actual edger which will grind it down from a, a, a large lens to the shape of the tr frame we just traced. Uh, we partner with our uh, uh, the community uh, organizations here and they find patients for us. I think the economy has taken a big toll with uh, in insurance packages and so uh, we do find people who are missing that vision care component and that's what we're here for to provide quality eye care to those people who, who are in need. This is one of three VSP vision care mobile eye clinics on the road nationwide. According to the National Eye Institute, eye health ranks second only to dental health as the greatest unmet public health care need in the U.S. They each raised the minimum of $100 for the opportunity to swim across the Hudson River and help a local cause. Close to 300 people took part in the ninth annual Great Newburgh to Beacon Hudson River Swim on Saturday. The swimmers uh, began at the Newburgh waterfront and ended near Riverfront Park in Beacon, the location of the seasonal floating pool off the north shore of the park. Proceeds from the swim go to benefit the operation of that floating pool, a dream of local environmentalist and folk singing icon Pete Seeger. Here's the chorus. I could be happy to spending my days on the river that flows both ways. More than a hundred volunteer kayak escorts accompanied the swimmers to ensure a safe event. The Ulster County hamlet of Rosendale was the place to be for thousands of young music lovers 
with 74 bands featured during the two-day Rosendale Street Music Festival. The event began in 1978 as a small music celebration and has grown into a major draw with about 100 vendors lining three quarters of a mile along Main Street. Organizers say the goal is to stimulate the local economy and celebrate the region's beauty and music. Some donation money will be put towards uh, the ongoing effort to save the now-closed Rosendale Pool and for music programs to benefit area kids. And for these artists, the canvas was the street. More than 20 of them put their talents on display over the weekend during Water Street Market's first chalk art festival in New Paltz. The event attracted amateur and professional chalk artists, as well as a total of about 4,000 onlookers anxious to see the chalk drawings take shape. The artwork was created in a parking lot that normally serves the shops, and each artist was given a 10 by 18 foot section of asphalt with which to create their chalk masterpieces over a two-day period. And unlike painting in a studio, these artists got to interact with people in the crowd and get their feedback. Don't look for any big cool down in our temperatures in the days ahead. Tuesday will be partly cloudy and hot with a chance of a passing thunderstorm. The highs will be up around 90 degrees. Wednesday will be mostly sunny and less humid with the highs in the mid 80s. Keep clicking back here at Record Online to stay connected to breaking news wherever it happens and read it all in tomorrow's Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.